Are you looking to send automated emails from your Monday CRM? Let's say you speak to a potential lead and you want to follow up with them three days after the phone call and then another five days after if you don't hear with them. But you want to automate this because you know you're going to forget. Let me introduce you to Sequences, a new feature within the Monday CRM that will allow you to automate emails to be sent out on a certain time schedule. So let's jump in and see how this feature works. Hi, my name is Tara and I'm a certified Monday.com partner and the founder of Simple Day. My goal is to help you build powerful yet simple workflows with Monday.com. If you need help with a custom implementation, my contact details are in the description below. Let's jump into today's tutorial and make Monday the best part of your week. Now, as you can see, I am in the Monday CRM. If you click up here, you can see that it clearly shows me that I am within the CRM. Now, up here on the top, I have something called sequences. I also have it on a specific board called sequences. So I want to show you how to set this up. We're going to pull this information from the leads board because basically I have leads coming in and I want to do a follow-up sequence with them so that way they don't get lost. So if I click on sequences, you can see that I can add a new sequence. So I'm just going to click add sequence and I'm going to start with basically what my first step is, which is an automatic email. Now you can see that there's four different options here, automatic email, manual email, generate tasks or a, um, a call task, which is basically in emails and activities. So I'm going to click with automatic email and I'm just going to have to add my subject. Um, so let's just say it'll be next steps. And here I could write my email and I can just write whatever I want. I could also pull in columns. So quick blocking it, sorry. If I click here, then I can pull in the item name. So I can say, hi, whoever you are. It was great meeting with you. Now I'm setting up a pretty basic email just to show you how this works. Now I can decide up here how many days I want it to go out. So I can say, let's say day number one, I want it to go out. Okay. So this is my first step that I have to set up the sequence that I have an email. Now I can duplicate the step. I can also delete it. Now, if you go to rules and notifications, you can see that I do need to activate my sequence. I can choose the email address that it's coming from. Unfortunately, right now you can only, it's only connected to one email address, but I know that they're working on having the ability for more. I can choose where um, the information, which columns it's coming from. And then I can have certain rules. So I can say like what time zone, let's just say I wanted to go out to New York time. So I can click a time zone and I can say like, you know, I really don't want to go out on, let's just say a Friday, Saturday or Sunday. And I can also make my time that I want to send it out. So I could say like, you know, I really want to send it out between, let's just say 9 a.m. to 11 a.m. So I want to make sure that people see it as soon as they come in the morning, they see my email. I can also set up some notifications, notify me when it's sent out, notify when a sequence is ended. And I can also assign a person on the board that is going to be notified. Now here you have people, and this is going to show you your flow um, once I add people to the sequence, but I don't have anyone on my sequence. So here I have my first email, and now just for the sake of this, I'm going to set up a second email so you see how it works. So I can duplicate the step. Okay, and now instead of going out at day one, so I'm going to push this to go out at day three. Okay, so here you see day one and day three. Now here I can change this. Let's just say I don't want it to say you know, it was great meeting with you, whatever. I could change my task text to say, um, you know, I just wanted to check in. Are you still interested? Obviously these are again, very basic emails, but you get the point about how you can set this up and you can add a whole bunch of different steps. Now I also can add a different step. I can add a manual email which will create an email and emails and activities, but I will need to manually set that up. I will need to manually send that. 
I can create a task and then get a reminder. And I can also create a call task. So it's going to send a reminder to me. And that's going to show up within my emails and activities. So I, what I need to do is once I'm done with my sequence, I need to hit save sequences. And then you can see I have all the information about it. You know, who created it, the different steps, the different days, how many people are active in it. Um, I haven't started it yet. So that's why it's, it's inactive. But if you want to start it, you basically can start it and then it will start sending out to people on this board. Now, one other point that I want to add is for people who are on the Monday enterprise level, you also have something called a workflow sensor and you could basically build workflows and you can pull in your sequences to these workflows, which is pretty cool. So I can basically have a sequence that says do these five stages and then I can add change the lead status, let's say to loss. Like let's say if they never responded to me, change them to loss. So if you're on enterprise, I highly recommend that you, you look on that. But in this tutorial, I really just wanted to show you sequences, to show you how you can easily set up a follow-up email sequence with tasks, with reminders, so that way no leads or potential deals fall through the crack. cracks. Let me know if this is helpful and how you have implemented sequences within your company. Hit the like button if you enjoy this video and remember to subscribe to receive tips and tricks on how to use monday.com. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you soon. Thank <laughs> you.